The Story of Henry Box Brown Henry Brown loved to sing. He sang when he was at work in the tobacco factory in Richmond, Virginia. He sometimes sang with his fellow workers who were enslaved, like him. On Sundays, he sang in the choir of his church, which was for black people, free or enslaved. His favorite song was a hymn of thanksgiving. Although he was not free, Henry felt lucky compared to others. His owner paid him money for overtime work, and he was in love with a woman named Nancy. Nancy had a different owner, but thankfully both men allowed them to get married. Henry and Nancy could even live together, which not many slaves were able to do. They had three children, two boys and a little girl. Henry loved to sing to them too. Because Nancy was their mother, her owner owned the children as well, but he promised they could stay together as long as Henry paid him money every year. One morning, Nancy's owner told them he had to pay off a large debt. He needed a lot of money. Could Henry pay up? But Henry had no more money left. The next thing he heard was that Nancy's owner had sold his family to someone further down south. Henry barely had time to say goodbye. He knew there was nothing he could do. He embraced his children and his wife, and he held Nancy's hand as long as he could. When the wagon with his family was out of sight, he burst out crying. He felt he could never sing anymore. Henry thought for a long time. With his family gone, there was no reason to stay in Richmond. He wanted to escape slavery and be free. There was a company in town called Adams Express. Using steam trains and steam ships, they sent packages very fast. Henry talked to his friend James, who he knew from church. What if he shipped himself to Philadelphia, where slavery was not allowed? Per express, it was only a 27-hour journey. James knew a shoemaker who might help, Samuel Smith. He was white, so he would not raise suspicion if he sent a large box that would fit a man. Mr. Smith agreed to help and went to Philadelphia to find out where he could send the package. He came back with the address of a man from the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society. Henry spent the last bit of money on a box in which he just fit. He only took water with him, some crackers, and a small drill to make holes for air. Mr. Smith and James shut the box tight. On the lid, they wrote, This side up with care. They loaded the box onto Mr. Smith's wagon. Then Mr. Smith drove to Adams Express. When they arrived, he arranged with the clerk to ship the box to Philadelphia. Once the train set in motion, Mr. Smith telegraphed the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society. Package is on its way. After several hours, the train stopped at the Potomac River. The box was put on another wagon to get to the steamer to Washington. When the box was loaded onto the deck, nobody minded the words, this end up with care. The box was put upside down. Henry felt his head was about to pop. Thankfully, two passengers were looking for a place to sit. They turned the box around just in time. For the rest of the ship's journey, Henry was safe.
When the ship arrived in Washington, the box was loaded on a wagon again, off to the Washington Railroad Depot. But instead of being carried properly, the box was thrown off the wagon. It went down a slope and landed upside down. Henry felt his neck crack and fainted. When he came to, he heard two porters talk. The box is too heavy, one man said. Let's wait for tomorrow's train. Thankfully, the other porter disagreed. We can't do that, he said. This box is sent by express. So the box was taken to the train to Philadelphia after all, the last leg of the journey. This time it was put right side up. Inside the box, Henry fell asleep. When he woke up, he heard, we are on the port in Philadelphia. He felt he was loaded onto another wagon. Had he made it? Was he free at last? Henry was soaking with sweat because it had been hot inside the box. But he knew what he would do when the box was opened. He would finally sing again. The box was taken off the wagon. Henry felt he was carried somewhere inside. He heard voices, then a knock on the box. Are you all right? A man asked. Yes, I am all right, Henry cried. And when the box was pried open, he stood up and sang his favorite song, the Hymn of Thanksgiving. 